Well, I guess I'm going to surprise you guys and post another YouTube video. I know. I know. It hasn't been two months. What am I doing? Right? Like, Danielle, is it you're going to be posting every two months or every other day? What the heck is happening? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Okay? I, you just got to you just gotta hop on for the ride. That's it. That's all I got to say. All right. I'm going to show you how I did my um, lace floral tumbler i have uh the lace file i bought off of etsy it sat in my cart forever every time i purchased something i saw it i kept telling it i will come back to you i promise i will not leave you here forever i finally bought it and i'm gonna put it on a tumbler you can actually see uh, the vinyl that i'm weaning has texture to it um it's like a black texture i bought it off of amazon i believe it came in a five foot roll I will do my best to find that link and put it in the description below. I am waiting forever and ever. I am switching between rules, uh, tools because it took me so long. I got my tweezers. I got a pick tool. And then every once in a while I was just using my fingers because my hands were cramping. So right about now I'm thinking, wow, this is really dumb. Why did I decide to do this? Like, hello? not smart i um and this far along though so got to see it through i am committed at this point there it is all weeded finally and then you'll also see that my tumbler up in the left hand corner up there at the top already has its glitter and two coats of epoxy on it the glitter is a little bit chunkier so that's why it has two coats of epoxy over it. i want to make sure that it's smooth and that my vinyl will stick to it without any issues this transfer tape that i'm using i want to say is about six inches wide so it's going to take two strips here to cover up all of my vinyl i'm doing a full wrap you want to make sure that you're vinyl is completely covered in transfer tape and when i say you i mean me okay i'm not preaching that you guys are telling you how to do anything i'm just showing you how i do it so anytime i say you just believe me i'm meaning me okay i want to make sure that all my vinyl is covered up before i do mine then i'm going to pull off the backing i'm going to speed this up because this is boring yes danielle we all know vinyl has backing nobody cares or wants to see it so i'll speed that up there la 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 okay we're gonna move on i don't want to bore you guys too much i'm gonna flip this one over and stick it to my parchment paper and then i'm gonna flip it again because i don't know what the heck i'm doing and then watch i'm gonna flip it again i'm telling you i make this stuff up as i go along okay really off the top of my head. I'm going to cut off the excess of my parchment paper and then I'm going to cut a smaller strip. I do use this and you'll see me use it here in a little bit. I do have proof. So I'm not, um, not everything I do doesn't make sense. Not everything I do makes sense. Um, either way, There it is. See, I promised you I would use it. I'm making sure that my vinyl touches the top and the bottom of my tumbler. And then this is a seamless pattern. So I'm checking through my parchment paper to make sure that my seam matches up in the back. I'm going to hold on super freaking tight to this because I don't want it sliding around anymore. While I use parchment paper, because it slides around, it makes it easy to line up the seams. Parchment paper also makes it easy for it to slide around and mess stuff up so i'm gonna hold on super tight with my left hand and then you'll see that i have attached the transfer tape to the cup here i am i did not freeze i was just making sure that my seam matches up in the back because once this starts going on okay i i ain't i ain't taking it off it's stuck okay this I'm not taking chances. I'm going to line it up at least 50 times before I actually start sticking this vinyl on. Because there is no way in heck I am reweeding this vinyl. Okay? I'm just not going to do it. So I'm going to line up 50 times and then I'll start attaching. So I'm going to start going slow and steady here. Slow. 
slow, all right? I'm gonna be attaching. I'm gonna be touching every part of this, making sure it's attached. There's no bubbles. There's no wrinkles or crinkles, all right? We're gonna go slow. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna make sure it's done right. Yes. Yes. See how slow I'm going? Oh my goodness. When I look back at these videos, I wonder what possessed me to do this? I don't know. Like, I swear to you, if my kids did a job this slow, I would already be so annoyed. But I chose the one craft that makes me go so slow. It teaches me patience on a daily basis. It really does. Um, I have not reached saint status yet on my patience level. But I'm sure by the end of this, when I make my last cup, I will have reached that status. Saint patience status, you guys. Okay, about this time, I'm thinking to myself, if there is one soul on this planet who will find this cup and love it and please purchase it, I hope that one person sees this cup, okay? There's never a time when I'm like, man, I hope this cup reaches 50 million views and everybody loves it. In my head, I'm thinking, please, with that one person on this planet, Please fall across this cup and love it so much and reach out to me and say, please take my money. I love it. I saw your vision. It's gorgeous. So luckily it did sell. Actually, in my Facebook group, it's already with its owner. She loves it. You'll see that I pulled off my transfer tape. Now I'm going to go through with my X-Acto knife. I'm going to go through the top and the bottom of the tumbler and make sure that the vinyl is not poking up. Um, and there's not pieces, random little pieces, okay, because this is lace. So it's got like weird little ends here on the bottom because then it didn't wrap around the bottom of the cup. So my X-Acto knife is just going to go through and help me clean up the job and make sure that my um, layer of epoxy is going to go on and not cause any problems for me. So after this lace, I have put one coat of epoxy on it. So now I'm going to lay the floral design on it. I bought the floral design from Shocker Etsy. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit on the dark side. This did come with the bats. So I've got the dark reds, the dark purples, and then the bats. When I'm searching for floral designs, I'm putting, um, I love searching for watercolors. So watercolor, floral, clip art. You know, little words like that. And then I'll, maybe I'll throw the colors in. Like I wanted purples for sure. So I threw purples in. And actually when I found this, I think I actually put the word spooky in. So when you're on Etsy and you're looking for something, just throw these funky words in there. You will be surprised at what comes up. And I promise you, you will be pleasantly surprised. Every once in a while, yes, you will be shocked. Okay. There have been a few times I've wondered, how the heck? What is this? I have no idea. I... But uh, I will say about 95% of the time you will be pleasantly surprised. So um, I have my uh, flowers. I have printed out myself and cut out with the silhouette. I'm thinking I have cut this flower design too big because look at all of that. I'm gonna be covering up with all those flowers. Did I do the right thing? But um, once I'm this far, I'm there and I'm gonna do it anyways. I use my uh, printable vinyl. I buy it from a pack. I buy it off of Amazon. I think the pack comes with like 40 sheets. I'll try to find the link and put that below. Um, I absolutely hate, hate, hate Cricut printable vinyl. Um, I used that when I first started making cups and I cannot tell you the anger issues that I had dealing with that Cricut printable vinyl. The red that I would see trying to print that stuff out. Oh my goodness. Um, and then once I found this printable vinyl, I just was, I praised every vinyl God there was because I just... I couldn't take another day dealing with that cricket vinyl. And that is my story about printable vinyl. So I promise you I'll put the link below on this vinyl that I'm using. If you're using cricket vinyl and you love it, um, 
I'm sorry if I offended you, but I just don't like it. So I'm going to go slow and steady peeling off this huge floral piece. It is now stuck to my hand. In hindsight, not even in hindsight, in this moment while I'm looking at this, I'm thinking to myself, why are you doing this, sticking this to your hand like this? You should have put this on parchment paper first and then put it on the cup, okay? But sometimes my brain doesn't catch up to my actions. Like I'm already in the middle of doing this and then my brain kicks on. And it's usually because I'm working at one o'clock in the morning on this stuff. And then that's why my brain goes slow. But I'm here now. I'm looking at my hands at this moment thinking, why? Danielle, this is so dumb. You should have put this on a parchment paper. Look at me going slow, wondering what I'm doing and regretting my decisions. <laughs> uh, too late to change it now, right? And she's kind of free here. So I'm going to start from the middle and I'm going to start smoothing everything out from the middle and then we're working my way to the outsides of the design. You don't want bubbles or wrinkles in printable vinyl because if epoxy gets under there, it'll make your life a living hell. It'll just keep pulling up your vinyl and seeping in under there and causing this big old mess. And um, every time you come back and check on your cup that's spinning, it's just going to be a bigger mess. I'm speaking like it's happened to me because it has multiple times. Um, you'd think I would learn. So I'm trying to learn from my past mistakes here. There have been a few pieces of printable vinyl. If like the piece is big enough, I will, once it's stuck to the cup, I'll take a piece of parchment paper and I'll wrap it around everything, the cup, and then I'll just like kind of roll it on my table to make sure every piece is stuck and that it's smooth and on the cup. Does it help in my head? It helps, okay? Um, there's no proof out there that it doesn't help, so um, I just keep doing it because my head tells me it helps. So I'm going to touch every single part of this floral thing and I'm going to make sure it's stuck to the cup. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit on the darker side, so I went ahead and did the bats. The bats did come with the flowers, but the whole pack came together. And they're actually, actually not bad because they're like got that watercolor look. So they're black and they're white and gray and they blend into the cup really well. Um, so that it wasn't like they took up a whole lot of space because they blended into the cup. It actually worked out really well. I, I will say I surprise myself sometimes. Like it surprises me how well some of the designs go. Um, cause I don't expect it. I just expect every cup to give me a headache, honestly. And I'm starting to learn that it's like the rush orders when people are like, oh, you're at a four week turnaround. Can you do it in two weeks? And I'm like, uh oh, yes, I guess I can. Those are the cups that give me a headache and will be a problem from start to finish. I don't know why I keep agreeing to them. I have problems, but I'm gonna put my cups on. And I'll go out of frame and then I'll come back into frame. And because I'm still learning how to do these. I'm going to stick on actually every bat I cut out. And you see, look, they're not bad. They're not like taking up a whole lot of space on the cup. That's what I'm telling myself right now, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, this is not a mistake. Right? Right? Let me roll this cup around and make sure it's not a mistake. And then I'll stick the last bat on there just because it's already on my tweezers. Dink. All right. So I'll roll it, make sure I like it. And then I'm going to show you the finished product. Look at when that epoxy hits that printable vinyl, I feel like it just makes the color so much more vibrant. It's just the vibrancy. And I know this is video is small here, but I promise you can still see the texture of that vinyl under that epoxy. And it's just pretty. Look at it. It's gorgeous. I love it. I went ahead and put a straw topper on this one. Uh, the red rose up there on top. And I love her. She's gorgeous. Bye, y'all.